Hi everybody, I'm back today with another video. I've really missed you guys. I've missed making videos. I've had some computer trouble, so the computer's been in the shop for a while and I have it back now, but now my editing software is um, messed up. I'm having issues with it, um, so I can't do any HD videos. So I just thought I would drag out my little digital camera and at least just do something so you won't forget about me. So, what I want to do today is just show you all some products that I cannot live without. I feel like I, you know, have to have these, and this is not like a monthly favorites video or anything like that, because these products are things that are just tested and tried and true. I swear by these, and I mean, I could sit here for hours and tell you all, you know, all my favorite products that I have. But I've tried to narrow it down a little bit, so um, hopefully, you know, these products will work for you as well. So, um, the first thing I have here is, the first two things are actually hair products. And the first one is like a deep conditioner, and it's from Garnier Fructis. Looks like this, and it's called the 3 Minute Undo Dryness Reversal Treatment. And it says it has triple nutrition, has like all these... Um, you know, oils and seeds and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, the point is, I really think this works. Because I have really dry hair, dry skin, you know, everything. Especially where it's been uh, wintertime. My hair's really been dry, especially the ends. And I've been using this for a while now, and I've, I think I can really tell a difference. But, and I use this in conjunction with my normal conditioner as well, because my hair is just that dry. So you put this on, leave it on for three minutes in the shower, and then rinse it out. And I feel like it like helps detangle and everything. Like it just makes it so soft and smooth. I really, really like this. And the second thing is a hairspray. And it's from Got To Be. And it's called Smooth Operator. It says it has cashmere in it. I mean, I don't know about all that, but I do really like it it smells amazing like this smells so good and it doesn't make your hair crunchy at all like my hair still feels soft when I spray it and it lasts a long time like I've had these curls for let's see I did this I fixed my hair about 10 o'clock this morning and it's now 7 p.m. and I've been outside the wind has been horrible today like I mean, it blew my hair all over the place, and I mean, my curls are still intact, so I do really like this hairspray. Uh, the third thing is a skin product, and it's a lotion, and this is not an exciting thing. It has no scent. Um, it's not like one of those pretty bottles, pretty scents things, but it's my favorite lotion of all time, and it has been a lifesaver for me. It's called CeraVe. You can find it at Rite Aid. And sometimes I can find it at Walmart. Sometimes I can't. But this has been a lifesaver. And it's non... Hang on, I'm going to try to pronounce this word. I always have such trouble. non comedogenic <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, it's, you know, it doesn't clog your pores. Um, I put this on my face. I put it on my body. Uh, you know, it's it's sensitive enough to where you can put it around your eye area. I mean, this stuff is awesome, I'm telling you. Okay, <laughs> and then on to the makeup stuff. Something that me and this product have been acquainted for quite a few years now, and it has never failed me, and it's Too Faced Shadow Insurance. If you all have seen any of my videos, I'm sure you're not surprised. I use this every time. And, like, I've had this little just this first, this is the first Too Faced Shadow Insurance I've ever had. And I'd say it's probably going on two and a half years that I've had this. And just if you don't know what this is, it is an eyeshadow primer. And you put it on before your eyeshadow, and it keeps it um, intact for a longer amount of time than if you didn't use a primer. Um, a lot of times if you don't use a primer, especially if you have oily skin, but um, this would happen to me anyway, and I'm pretty dry my eyeshadows would crease and they would fade and you know fall down under your eyes and this helps prevent all that. Also for my favorite setting powder 
I have this. It's from the Elf Studio line, and it's their high definition powder. Um, I've heard some people compare this to the Makeup Forever HD powder, and it looks very similar. It's white. I don't know if you'll be able to tell or not, but it has a little sifter in there, and it's just white powder. But when you put it on, it's translucent. Now, I've never tried the Makeup Forever one, um, so I can't make a comparison, but I've used this for a long time, and I really like this. It's perfect for setting your under eye concealer, and I'll usually just go ahead and set my entire face with it, and it just feels so silky smooth. I really like the texture of this, and it's very inexpensive because it's from e.l.f. So, um, let's see, next is a brush, and it's a very dirty brush <laughs> because I used it today, but it is the MAC 217, and if you can see it or not, it's, yeah, it's dirty, I apologize about that, but this is just a blending brush, and this is pricey, I'm not going to, you know, pretend like it's not, it, um, I think this is about $22. But just for me personally, in my opinion, it's worth it. Sigma has one. I know that um, I don't have it, but it looks very similar, you know, when I see it on other people's videos. So um, it's a cheaper alternative. I've heard people really like it. But me, I just have this one, and this is my favorite brush for the outer V. Hands down, my favorite brush. Uh, it just fits perfectly right in there, and also it's... I love it for the crease. You can pack color onto your lid with it instead of like a flat shader brush. You can go ahead and pack it on there and then you can just blend it too. So it's a time saver. It's very convenient. I feel like this is a very multi-purpose brush and I love it. The next, the rest of the products that I have are all cheek products and the first one is a bronzer and it's from Hard Candy <coughs> and it's their baked bronzer. The one I have is called Heat Wave, and this is so pretty. It is a shimmery bronzer, so if you don't like shimmer on your face, you might not like this, but I think it's really nice um, if you're wanting to go for that shimmery look. And it doesn't give like, you know, it's not like glittery. It's not going to make you look like a disco ball, but it just gives a really nice glow. And especially where I mentioned that I have dry skin, I just feel like this really helps to perk up my face. And the texture is really good. I don't even know if you can see it there, but there's a swatch. And it's really nice. I, I just really like it. I find myself using that quite a bit. And the next thing I have are blushes. And I just couldn't narrow this down. But I narrowed it down to two brands of blushes. And the first one is Milani. I love Milani. Just that brand in general. But I have two of their blushes, and I really love them. And this one is called My Tie. And it's a matte blush, pretty much, yeah. And it's like a peachy pink color, so pigmented. I mean, these blushes are amazing. So pretty. Love that, and also very affordable. Also, NYX blushes. I love NYX. I have a lot of their blushes, actually. Like, a lot. Probably too much to show right now. Um, but my two favorites are the blush in Peach. It's a really pretty pink color. I don't even think you can see that, but this is a matte color, too. And this one in Pinched. And this is more of a shimmery color. And it's just like a medium pink. Light to medium pink. So pretty. Let's see if this one will show up. I don't know. But, yeah. I love NYX blushes. And I love Milani blushes. I need to stop right now. Because like I said, I could go on and on all day long about makeup products that I like. Because I'm a makeup fanatic. But... You all know that because that's why I'm here talking to you right now. <laughs> anyway, so I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. I missed you guys. And I really hope to get my uh, editing software fixed soon so that I can do a, t a makeup tutorial. But I would rather do it with my camcorder so that, you know, it's just a little bit more clear. But if I cannot get it fixed soon for whatever reason, I will do a makeup tutorial soon. Just because, I mean... I don't even know if you all care or not, but just for myself, I go through withdrawals because 
This is just so fun for me. But anyway, see, I miss you all. I can't stop talking. I'm just rambling on and on and on. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it here and say thank you so much for watching, and please come back soon.